Right guys, watch this. Does this look like your golf swing in any way? Okay. Nailed that quite well actually. I'm quite happy, quite impressed with myself. That's a cast. Casting it from the top of the backswing is frustrating. It's a, it's, a, it's a part of the game that so many golfers know that they do. They try and stop it. And I believe you try and stop it very much in the wrong way. We look at casting as the releasing of the trail wrist because you see that on the way down, the wrist goes that way and you see that straight arm between your lead forearm and the golf club, okay? So you immediately go, well, I've casted it. My, my wrist, I've lost my wrist angle on the way down. Now, I would often say to golfers, well, actually, if you keep a nice compact downswing position here, not many people were actually really, or that's you, no, not, not many people. Nobody has ever done that, okay? And what, what I've done differently there is I've managed to keep my trail elbow in tight to my body. I've managed to keep a fantastic angle in the elbow, but I've just lost my wrist. So that is when the wrists purely release the angle on their own. It's not something that we see, I've ever seen actually, if I'm being perfectly honest. So the reason why you cast it is not because of your wrists, is because of your elbow, okay? So this drill is a beauty, okay? Because what, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna keep the swing at around about half to three quarters, okay? And what you'll notice is I've got my right elbow in nice and tight to the, it's the side of my rib cage. And I often say to golfers that I'm coaching on Skillist, the, the seam of my jumper down here, that's where my elbow is, okay? It's right next to each other, all right? It's not behind my body and it's not in front of my stomach, okay? So as I rotate and get to the top of my backswing, my jumper and the seam of my jumper are right next to each other. The elbow and the seam of my jumper are right next to each other. What I wanna try and do is I don't want to ex extend my elbow away from the seam of my jumper. I wanna keep it in there. And as you can see, I've got a little towel under both armpits because what this is gonna try and encourage you to do is to use your body more, use your chest to rotate. Use your bigger muscles to turn away from the target, turn away from the golf ball as you go to the top of the backswing. Because again, we see a lot of movements where it's an arm swing and you're trying to use the arms for power on the way down, which is very much not gonna happen. Okay, it's just not gonna happen. You can't use your arms for speed and power because especially my noodle arms, they're not that powerful. What is powerful though, is the chest, the stomach, the, the core of the body. That's where a lot of the speed and a lot of the power is gonna come from. So what I do is I get my guys to pop a little towel underneath both armpits and just lightly turn the body away. Okay, so now I've got the right elbow or the trail elbow in close to the seam of my jumper. I'm gonna try and keep it in there as I strike the ball. Now understanding impact here is, is key. So what you can do is you set up and just like pull the elbow in closer to the seam of your jumper or your t-shirt and rotate to the target. Okay, so that's my impact position. Notice how my trail shoulder is lower, my lead shoulder is higher, I've got my weight into my left side, I've maintained my posture and I've got my trail elbow still into my body. I haven't extended it out and away from my body, okay? So as I set up, that's my impact position there, okay? So as I go to the top of the backswing, I've used my chest to rotate up to the top. I've got the trail elbow in nice and tight. And as I rotate down into the golf ball, follow my trail elbow. Look at it, yes. And what that's released now is my hands to go forwards ahead of the golf ball. If my trail elbow starts to straighten out too soon, so does the golf club, okay? And if I translate that onto the shot, my hands now are either in line with the golf ball or they're behind the golf ball, which has increased the loft. We've increased the seven iron into an eight iron, you've lost 10 yards, okay? You wanna feel like you're, in, you're decreasing the seven iron into a four iron, okay? It's not gonna be like that really though. So you're gonna get the shot, elbow's gonna stay nicely tucked in. And you'll notice here what, what I'm doing there is I'm just almost allowing the elbow, without moving my wrist, just allowing my elbow just to sit into my stomach a little bit more, okay? So it's already at setup, got a little bend, all right? I spoke to someone recently who wanted to have like both arms locked straight, right? Trail elbow is always gonna be the one that's a little bit more relaxed because that's the one that folds really early in the swing and actually stays folded 
until pretty much the moment after impact. Okay, so beautiful little drill here. Elbow relaxed into my stomach, folds nice and early, and I've got that strike. Okay, so I'm a nice straight arm on the way through the ball. Ball, then turf, compressed it, and the feedback you can actually get from the ball flight is it's pretty low. If, you're, if you are a caster, when you've struck the ball really nicely, you'll find that the ball's gone super high and short. And obviously the, the bad shots that come with it, like your fats and your thins, but when you pure one, you'll always be like, oh, I just didn't go very far. And it's not gone very far because you've turned your seven iron into a nine iron. So what we're trying to do is keep that trail elbow, just go for the routine, just relax it into your stomach. It's not actually touching my stomach, by the way, but it's just feeling like it's a lot more relaxed than my, my lead arm. Relax it in, fold it early. So now I've got my, my chest rotated, I've got my shoulder under my chin, got my back to the target and my chest back to you guys. And as I come back down, I've kept my trail elbow into my body. It's now into my stomach. My hands are ahead of the ball and I'm ready to absolutely pure it. So the ball flight's lower. I'm getting ball then turf. I'm getting a little bit of turf, not loads, just a little bit, just a nice off the club face and it is flying longer than you'll ever have seen your golf ball fly before, purely on the basis that it's a powerful strike with the correct impact factors that all of the tall pros have, okay? So you could do this one-handed, right hand, elbow, trail arm, into your stomach, there. A little U-shape, we spoke about that in a previous video. Also spoke about kind of Hogan's magic elbow. This is very, very, very similar. And it's a great little drill to certainly give you that sensation. But what we're trying to talk about more so is the, is the rotation of this right shoulder, this trail shoulder, working down and under my chin with my trail elbow into my side. So it's into my stomach. Because now the shaft leans a bit more ahead of the golf ball, okay? So you're there. So we're working this trail arm down. We're keeping the trail elbow in and the hands are ahead of the golf ball. So that's my powerful looking impact position. Guys, I hope this video has helped. If it has, do like, do subscribe. Also leave me a little comment. This is gold for ball striking. You're gonna love it. So go and give it a try. Even if you feel like you don't even struggle with a cast, this is still a beautiful ball striking drill. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Do this together, you're able to kind of understand how this right elbow works. Now on the downswing, this is the trick. This is this is gold. Because on the downswing, as you start to rotate back towards the target, if I maintain this bend in my right elbow and I keep the upper part of my body, my trail arm close to my body, look where the shaft of the club is.